Hello, everyone. Let's talk about the topic Canada Health Act. It is a Canada's legislation for publicly funded health care insurance. It came to board to intervene in the delivery of health services to Canadians. The Canada Health Act was introduced for three main reasons, to balance social equity, to balance economic equity, to increase efficiency of delivery of health services. The act sets out three primary objectives of Canadians' healthcare policy, to protect, to promote, to restore the physical and mental well-being of residents of Canada, and to facilitate reasonable access to health services without financial or other barriers. The aim of the CHA is to ensure that all eligible residents of Canada have reasonable access to insured health services on a prepaid basis without direct charges at the point of service for such services. When we talk about principles of Health Canada Act, there are five principles that form the cornerstone of the Canadian healthcare system. The five principles are public administration, accessibility, comprehensiveness, universality, and portability. Number one is the public administration. The health insurance plan of a province or a territory must be administered on a nonprofit basis by a public authority through federal tax, provincial tax, and nonprofit organizations with proper accountability to the provincial government. Accessibility. Eligible Canadian residents should have free access to medically necessary hospital and physician services, irrespective of financial or economic factors. No one may be discriminated against on the basis of such factors as income, age, and health status. Third is comprehensiveness. This means that all medically necessary services provided by hospitals and the doctors must be insured. Each province is to determine which non-essential services are insured. Universality. This means that all eligible residents are entitled to equal access to public health care. Portability. This means that the province should ensure health services to their citizens while they are temporarily absent from their province of residence or from Canada. Now, the Canada Health Act, it covers the following, that is medically necessary hospital services, medically required physician services, dental surgery, eye surgery. And the federal drug benefit plan covers the First Nations that Aboriginals, veterans, RCMP, Royal Canadian Mounted Police, refugees, inmates in prison and jail. Provincial drug benefit list covers the senior citizens, 65 years and over, social welfare recipients, social services, and disability. But we have to note that the visitors are not covered under the CHA. This is all about the, this topic. Thank you.